Imagine a world where science fiction becomes reality, where beams of light aren't just for spectacular shows of fun games, but are actually used to protect an entire nation. This sounds like something out of a movie, right? Well, welcome to Israel, where the future is happening now. I'm Yair Pinto, and this is My State, a program about current events, my belief in God, and my journey in the Holy Land. And today, we're diving into a groundbreaking development that's set to change the face of defense technology, not just in Israel, but around the world. For decades, Israel has been at the forefront of innovation. We've constantly pushed the boundaries, but today, we're talking about something that sounds almost magical, a defensive system that uses laser beams to intercept threats. Yes, you heard that right. A real life shield of light it is called Magen O and developed by some of the brightest minds at Rafael Advanced Defensive Systems and Elbit Systems. This technology is nothing short of revolutionary. Picture this. Instead of intercepting rockets with traditional missiles, which are effective but costly, they're now harnessing the power of high-energy lasers to neutralize threats silently, invisibly, and almost immediately. It's efficient, it's cost-effective, and it's a game-changer. Over the past year, Israel has faced relentless threats, rockets, mortars, and drones launched towards our cities and towns from Gaza, Lebanon, and even as far as Iran and Yemen. But Israel does not back down. We innovate. Imagine a sky where incoming threats are met with beams of light. No loud explosions, no debris raining down, just silent protection. That's the promise of Magen O. But hold on. If you're excited about this as much as I am, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss another update about this incredible technology and more to go on our news website at tbnisrael.com. So, how does it work? Once a threat is spotted, the system quickly calculates its precise trajectory and speed, locking onto the target with pinpoint accuracy. Then, a high-energy laser beam is fired, hitting and destroying the threat before it can harm anyone. And all of this happens in just a matter of seconds. Think of it like using a magnifying glass to focus sunlight onto a single point to burn a piece of paper, but on a much larger and much more sophisticated scale. The laser concentrates immense energy onto the target causing it to overheat and fail. What's truly remarkable is that this process is silent, invisible, and incredibly efficient, ensuring that we stay one step ahead of those who wish to harm us. In the face of increasing threats from our neighbors and beyond, having a defensive system that's not only effective but also sustainable is crucial Traditional interception methods, like those used by the Iron Dome, cost around 50000 for each missile that is fired. During heavy barrages, the costs add up quickly. So when it comes to dollar bills, Magen O changes the game. It's incredibly cost-effective. As long as there's power, the system can keep firing, giving us effectively unlimited ammunition. By adding Magen O to our arsenal, we're enhancing our multi-layer defense strategy, making it even more robust. Let's not forget why this is so important. The Houthis continue to attempt to infiltrate our airspace with drones, and Iran is supplying advanced weaponry to its proxies, aiming to create a ring of fire around Israel. Our enemies are evolving, and so must our defenses. Israel's development of Magen O sends a clear message. We are committed to protecting our citizens with the most advanced technology that is available. I'm meeting Dr. Yoshua Kalinsky. He's a senior researcher at INSS, the Institute for National Security Studies, to discuss Magen O 
and Israel's laser technology. I want to talk a little bit about the military implications and about the development of Magen Or. Okay, so Israel was known for its anti-rocket defense capabilities that included the Iron Dome anti-rocket defense system, the Arrow 3, David, David Sling. Sling, all these yes. very famous defense systems. But one of their biggest downsides is that they are very expensive. So Israel had to face or develop something that is more First of all, economically sustainable, yes. and as well, something that doesn't cause a lot of uh, panic yes. and uh, explosions exactly. in the sky. Exactly. Are very exactly. Scary. So, so what happened? What did okay. we do? Okay. So the laser, it, it was found that the laser of uh, about 100 kilowatt, but even less than this, is enough to hit missile skin. Okay. How the laser works? It simply hits the area of the laser skin until there is a cat catastrophic failure yeah. because it reaches close to the melting point and then the structure of the of the missile is uh, damaged and the missile of the rocket can lose the trajectory. It's enough to use 100, 150 kilowatts to destroy to the short or the medium range rocket that are sent from uh, Lebanon or from Gaza. Yes. Okay. Now, there are limitations of the laser. Yes. One limitation is uh, the range, because the atmosphere has chemicals, water, gases, and they are absorbed by the laser beam. Significant power is absorbed by the atmosphere, so it limits the distance, okay. the effective distance, to five, eight, maximum 10 kilometers. Is this laser being effective against the mortars as well? Yes, the Iron Dome is not effective against mortars and against short-range missiles like the Burkan of the Hezbollah yeah. or the Cornet. It's not effective because the time that it takes to prepare the system, by this time, the Cornet or the Burkan or the mortar hit the target. With the laser beam, it will be much easier because it's in millions of seconds that the laser hits the target. Also, the laser is not a consumable because you can use the laser on and on and on. You simply press the push button, you give the excitation of the dial to the laser, the laser sends the beam in millions of seconds, it hits the rockets, then you stop working because you have to let the lasing material relax from the heat, but you, you can use it again. What other implications can this laser beam have on the battlefield? Can you put it on a tank? Yes, you can put it on a tank, on a ground vehicle. You can put it on ship against drones, okay, or against unmanned ship. Okay, so it can be effective against the drones of the Houthis in yes. the Red Sea. Can it be also effective against anti-tank rockets that are fired against yes. the tank? Yes, it can be effective to any kind of short-range rocket or missile. Does this, this system has an automatic tracking mechanism? It must have automatic tracking that is synchronized with all the defense layers of uh, Israel. Automatically operate when it's needed. That basically covers for the shortcomings of this system. Yes. So if it's a close range, you use the laser beam. If it's a medium, you use Iron Dome. Iron and then Dome. A long range, you use Davis the Davis Ling or, 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 the, or the Aero or, yes. or other, yes. Or uh, airplanes, other. Uh, Air Force course, airplanes, yes, yes. yes. You know, the drones and the UAVs are very inexpensive. Yes. So to use an airplane or to use Iron Dome, uh, you know, it's not cost effective. Yeah. The laser will be very effective, especially the the materials of the drones or the UAVs is organic, is a composite material. So it carbon. will melt easier. It will melt very easy. You don't have to use 100 kilowatt. Also 15, 15 kilowatt will be enough. How much will it cost to, to intercept one missile with the Magen Or? Five to four dollars. So the, 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 the electricity bill of the IDF is gonna go up a little <laughs> bit, but the missile bill will a, go down. It's a cup of coffee in Starbucks. <laughs> also, you don't have to reload the laser beam and to... Shipments of missiles yes. from, from abroad to Israel. Yes. You have the you system, only to see plug it to electricity. Electricity and press the button. Yes. Wow. What do you think that the battlefield of the future will look like with this new weapon system called lasers? Since the enemies are going to use swarms of uh, suicide drones and, and suicide UAVs, not one or two, but uh, hundreds, yeah. I think the laser will be very effective in uh, intercepting this uh, kind of weapon. Also, 
Uh, I think that uh, it will be very effective against uh, short-range uh, rockets and missiles, like the Cornet that uh, the Hezbollah used very successfully during this, this conflict. Yeah. We didn't have... A way to defend ourselves against it. I'm from the tanks unit, I'm a ah. tank platoon commander, so ah, okay. we don't like these uh, yeah. Cornets. They are like our worst enemy yes. in the battlefield. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you, you can defend yourself against it by using, for example, smoke or... Or movement. Or movement. Movement Move. because it's laser guided and uh, once, once you have the connection smoke, is jeopardized. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's good. I appreciate the tip. I will uh, I will implement it in the, in the next uh, battle. Okay. Thank you so much for today. We really appreciate your Thank input. You. And uh, may Thank we develop much. this technology. I mean, to defend the people of Israel. And, and, and this nation. And say to the, all the listeners, uh, we thank the United States for the help of the American people to, to the Israeli to fight against the, you know, the terrorists. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. In a world where threats are constantly changing, Israel continues to shine as a beacon of innovation and resilience. Magen O isn't just a piece of technology, it's a statement to our nation's unwavering commitment to safety, progress, and peace. As we harness the power of light to protect our homeland, we are reminded that our true strength lies not only in technology and technological advantages, but also in our unity, in our spirit, and in our faith. So guys, please join me in praying for Israel and for the IDF. May we restore the peace to our people, despite those who stand against us. Let's pray for the safety of our nation that is weary from over one year of conflict. Let's pray for the protection of our soldiers, for the swift return of our hostages, and for the peace of Jerusalem. Together, with innovation in our hands and hope in our hearts, we look forward to a brighter and safer tomorrow. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the future of the fence. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let's spread the light of innovation and hope far and wide. And until next time, I'm Yair Pinto, and this is My State. Hello, this is Mati here in Jerusalem with TBN Israel. This is Yair Pinto from TBN Israel here in Jerusalem. TBN Israel is keeping viewers informed with Israel-focused news, culture, and what God is doing in this land. Support TBN Israel today online at tbn.org Israel. Thank you.